The Amazing World of Gumball is one of the best cartoons of all time. But did you know it's packed with hidden details and sinister secrets? One of them involves one of the creepiest characters in the show, the owner of the van. In the episode The Disaster, we can notice that he has a body and is not just a shadow with eyes as many imagined. But his form is basically like he's a being made of black smoke. But the sinister secret is that after this episode, it was possible to realize that all this time the character appeared in every opening of the amazing world of Gumball. Which means that since the beginning of the show, he's always been there. That's sinister. This is just the first of the 12 hidden secrets in Gumball that we're going to show you now. Anais was evil. Certainly, there are some really weird things that happen only to the residents of Elmore, and some characters can be quite scary. Even some of the cutest ones. This is exactly the case with little Anais, as we see in the episode The Rival, where we meet the newborn version of Gumball's little sister. And she was a being of complete evil and darkness, who had malicious plans to end her two brothers in a brutal way. This only changes after they hug her at the end of the episode. But the secret is that maybe this runs in the family. And no, we're not talking about Nicole, but Ricardo. During the episode The Signature, we see that Ricardo has a behavior very similar to Anais, from his villainous expressions to creating plans to deceive Louis, his mother's boyfriend. We can notice that Ricardo and Anais are much more alike than it seems, and no one realizes it. Maybe Ricardo just plays dumb because it's too much work to think. The Origin of Louis Speaking of the episode The Signature, it's where Louis tells Ricardo that he and Gumball's grandmother intend to get married and move to Florida. But have you ever noticed that Louis looks like someone we all know? Well, despite Cartoon Network and Disney being rivals in producing animated cartoons, it's obvious that Louis is a parody of none other than Mickey Mouse himself. But for Louie, it's as if time really passed and Mickey aged, becoming this elderly and semi-decrepit mouse. <laughs> the interesting thing is that in the opening of the show itself, we also find another reference to Mickey in the form of a sticker on one of the lockers at Elmore Junior High. Crazy Frog In the episode where we get to know the Void better, when Mr. Small and the kids are trying to get back to their reality inside Gumball's teacher's van, we see an iconic figure that was very successful a few years ago. We're talking about Crazy Frog, that digitally animated frog used in early 2000s hit clip videos. The detail is that the fact that he's there itself is a critique, because while the CGI animated animal became famous, many people never understood why. Soon, he fell into oblivion, and that's why he's in the void. Another detail is that he's chased by paper dodos, which is an animal that has been extinct for many decades. I think this is a way for Ben, the creator of the series, to say that Crazy Frog should be extinct once and for all. But sorry to disappoint you, Gumball, but Crazy Frog is still very famous. So if you've ever heard of a song from the Crazy Frog or had heard of him or seen him in any video, comment below. Hashtag frog. Blue Unicorn. There's a pretty interesting reference in Gumball that few people have noticed. And we remember it now that we talked about the void again. When Mr. Small meets Janice, we can see that she has several paintings on her body. And one of them is of a blue unicorn on the side. This same unicorn is seen in a painting that is in the Watterson family's dining room. We can see the painting containing practically the same blue unicorn. This makes me thoughtful. Is there something deeper in this reference? That's when I realize that a unicorn also appears in the opening of the show, right at the beginning. Man, for sure this isn't by accident. Lord of the Rings! What the amazing world of Gumball doesn't lack are references to movies and cartoons from pop culture. And if there's an episode where this happens a lot, it's in the episode The Boredom. In it, we see several references to various Cartoon Network shows, like Regular Show and Uncle Grandpa. But surely the biggest reference of all happens at the end of the episode, when a dwarf holding an axe identical to those used in the Lord of the Rings movies appears at Gumball and Darwin's door, inviting them to participate in an epic and incredible adventure. The dwarf is practically identical to Gimli, the warrior dwarf who is one of the protagonists of the Lord of the Rings trilogy that marked the history of cinema. The never-ending story. And Lord of the Rings isn't the only historical movie referenced in this episode, because at the end of the story, we see the same dwarf and two boys riding on a flying white dragon. This is a clear nod to one of the greatest classics in children's fiction and adventure movies from the 80s, called The Never-Ending Story, which even has plans for a new version for the new generations. This is definitely a movie I'm going to watch. Cop Cannibal Now, this is something really spooky. Have you ever noticed that Donut Sheriff has quite a sinister diet? Because we see him at some points in the show eating, or trying to eat, donuts, which is exactly what he is. 
But how is that possible if he himself is a walking donut? Sure, he's the perfect joke for cops who love eating donuts, but did he really need to be that cannibalistic? We can't say for sure, but we can definitely tell you that if you subscribe to our channel, you'll get videos about cartoons and animated movies every day. Just click that subscribe button. Car plates. Certainly, the amazing world of Gumball is one of the places and cartoons with the greatest diversity of characters in the world of animation, ranging from dinosaurs studying in high school to characters that are literally a drawing of a teddy bear on a piece of paper. But it seems that in one aspect, the show decided to cut corners on diversity. We're talking about the license plates of the vehicles in Elmore. If you look closely, you'll notice that almost all the cars in town use the plate X232U, except for the Watterson family's car, which has a different plate. Referencing Courage Earlier, we talked a bit about how Darwin became part of the Watterson family. But did you notice that during the little fish's journey to return to his family, he passes through a setting that belongs to one of Cartoon Network's classic shows? When he still didn't have legs, Gumball's brother literally crawls through various different environments, from forests to deserts, and at one point, he passes through a place that closely resembles nowhere. If you're a fan of cartoons, you'll remember Courage the Cowardly Dog, who lived exactly in nowhere, with Eustace and Muriel, and the buildings we see in the background are very similar to the ones where Courage and his family lived. If you watched that show, it was like the creepiest things always happened in nowhere, much like what happens in Elmore in the amazing world of Gumball. So we can say that the reference really makes sense. Lethicide. We know that the Watersons have quite a rap sheet, as they practically destroyed the city of Elmore several times. But undoubtedly, one of the creepiest things done by the family is the various attempts to end the life of one of the most forgettable characters in the series. We're talking about the guard, who works at the Elmore supermarket booth the one who is a milk carton. In the episode The Parking, we see that Gumball accidentally sticks the car key into the character's chest, causing some sort of milk hemorrhage in the poor guy. I thought he had died. But later, in the same episode, we see him again, but with a bandage on the spot. And it seems that later, in the episode The Copycats, they finally finish the job when they accidentally crash their car into the guard's booth again. And this time, we see him falling to the ground and the carton opens, spilling even more milk. I know cartoons don't die, but surely this scene shows that he's not doing well at all, don't you think? The Turtle Among the creepiest characters in the amazing world of Gumball, surely many fans of the series will put the family's pet turtle as one of the creepiest of all. Seriously, that creature is just eerie. The fact is that this turtle is much older than it appears, because when Richard bought Darwin from the van guy years ago, it already existed and lived in the van shop. As we can see, its legs were sticking out of the same box that Richard brought home on that fateful day when the kids wished for a pet. Which means that apparently this turtle is one of the most mysterious and evil beings in all the universes of the amazing world of Gumball! I don't know about you, but I certainly would never have the courage to raise an animal that wants to devour me. <laughs> Darwin really is a much better option! We picked out two really cool videos that are right up your alley, so you can keep watching fun content here with us! Just choose the one you like the most and click on it. Thanks, and enjoy the video!